When deciding if a transaction will be profitable over the long term, businesses routinely calculate the net present value to determine which projects are worth investing in. The net present value is calculated by negating the costs up front and adding it to the present value of all future cash flows, which is shown in this formula. NPV is equal to the cost negated plus the present value of all future cash flows. We say that a project is good if the present value of all future cash flows generated is greater than the upfront cost. When this happens, the NPV is positive. When we get a negative NPV, then it's technically considered a bad project because it doesn't earn at least the cost of capital or the upfront cost. Let's take a look at a scenario and do some calculations. The question reads, suppose a company is considering building a new plant that will cost 11 million. If the plan is expecting to generate cash flows of 1.9 million per year for 10 years, calculate the net present value, assuming the cost of capital is 9% annually. Here's the formula we discussed earlier. NPV is equal to negative the cost. In our case, the cost is 11 million. So I'll write down NPV is equal to negative 11 million. And we add to that PV, which is the present value. Now, we have to calculate the present value of annuity using this formula. Let's go ahead and do that. Each year, we expect to generate 1.9 million. So that will be represented as PMT. And that's being multiplied to 1 take away 1 plus the interest rate. Since the cash flow is coming in per year, the interest per period will be 9%. 0 0.09 for I. And that expression will be raised to negative 10 or 10 periods. And we divide that by 0 0.09 as well. So whatever we find for PV, we will substitute that into this equation. Let's do it all at once. Our final equation should start to look like this. Now we'll put this equation into our calculator. We have negative 11 million plus 1.9 million. And that's being multiplied to this expression. 1 take away 1.09 raised to the power of negative 10, 0 0.09 in the denominator. As you can see, we get a net present value that's positive. In fact, it is 1,193,549.63. Because the MPV is positive, we can conclude that this is a good investment and that the company got the project cheap. A project should be accepted if the MPV is greater than zero and rejected if it is less than zero. If you have any further questions about this concept, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll gladly give you a hand. Thank you for watching.